Hello guys, uh, Flint with Deuce here, um, playing um, Rush Poker on my phone. Uh, just making a video really for players that um, are sort of new to the game or maybe like the game um, but are perhaps losing. And I'm just making these videos just to show people that um, just how to make money at playing poker really. Um, I'm playing from, from my phone because my laptop's broken. My highest stakes that I played at and beat were 50 NL, but for personal reasons I had a break from the game, and so I didn't play poker for the best part of a year, so I'm just now working my way back up. Um, I deposited um, $10, and I think, um, I think I played half an hour last night and won $2. Um, but this is the real, um, this is the start of the grind now. So I'm looking to build my way back up to um, 50 NL and much more, hopefully. Mm, it'd be nice if we hit an 8 here. And we don't, unfortunately. That's a terrible flop for us. Um, we can do nothing now but just check fold. One of them has got to have that king. There's too many kings in their range. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, it's three betters. Oh, you twat. So this is a good bluff four bet hand as well. But people play so nitty. That could be ace king. That's very li very unlikely to be a bluff. From that position is the most likely position for it to be a bluff. But um, now some people get frustrated when, especially when they keep on getting three bet. I've been three bet um, twice in a row now. Just fold. Just fold. Pick your spots. Just have patience. The key to winning at poker is folding a lot and patience. Waiting till you make these good hands like now. I've got a pair of kings now. Uh, so you wait till you make these hands. Um, and then you just bet them. But you've got to have patience. Be nice if he re-raised me. Not to be. I did think about playing uh, two tables, but it would be too confusing for you at home, flitting between the tables, and you wouldn't know what hand I was talking about on what table. So I, usually I play four tables, but for making the video, I'm just playing one table so that I can probably properly explain any decisions that um, that come up, any hands that come up, I can give you my analysis of them. Been playing poker now about seven years. Two years seriously. Um, then as I say, I, I left for personal reasons. Um, and just didn't have a lot of time. Now we've been three bet here again. Um, hmm. I think we're going to have to take a stand, guys. We can't have this. Now we'll see what sort of hand he's got. He was, he was trying to bluff us there, guys. I wouldn't advise you guys do this unless you know you've got a bit of information on the player and you know that he um, three bets you light. So pocket pairs. 
tempted to three bet this. I am a bit aggressive. Um, so there's certain things that I'm going to do that for certainly for beginning players I'd advise against. Um, now we've got a caller here. I think I think we can take a flop here and just see what develops. We've hit top pair. Um, so it's it's as good a ho good a flop as we could have hoped for, really, in a sense. There is a flush draw out there. Now he's bet. Okay, all right. So what are you representing there? So you're representing a queen, a flush draw. Um, let's test, let's test you here, I think. Let's raise you. I want to know straight away what sort of hand you've got. If he was on a flush draw there, he had about 34% equity in the hand. 34% chance of winning the hand. And we've just cut that dead. We could have called, but our hand was vulnerable. One or both of them probably had an ace or a king. Now, if an ace or a king hits the turn or the river, you've put money in the middle, and you're, you've now got to fold your hand. So sometimes I do just like raising it and taking the pot down there and then. Like this is a classic example. I just want to take this down now. When I was playing at 50NL, I was making quite a good living actually. I was playing five tables at the same time. And I was making... About four, about four hundred pounds a week. It averaged out at some weeks, some months. I mean, you with poker, you have winning streaks, at, at, especially at the higher limits. Um, the swings are quite big. Um, I was beating it for um, four big blinds per hundred hands. So not a brilliant win, win rate, but for fifty nl, it wasn't too bad. And I was making, uh, and that was playing five tables as well. Um, I don't really want to call here out of position, so again, we're going to three bet this. We block kings, we block queens. Um, he's called us now, and he, he's probably called us with a middling pair. So we're going to represent an over pair here now and bet. And if we get called, then we're gonna, we're gonna we've got no choice but to shut down now. Um, which is a problem. I I might fire once more just to try and take this down, try and take him off a medium pair. There we go. I generally advise at this at two at two NL. I generally advise against firing twice when you've completely missed the flop and you fire a C bet. That's fine. Once you've been called, if you're against one opponent, I would shut down unless you improve. Against if you're against two opponents and you completely miss, then don't even 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 if you're in position, don't attempt to try and steal steal that pot. Because you'll be called by one of them. And we've got another nice three bet in hand. I like three bet in these hands. <coughs> You've got to give action to get action. Not that people are paying you know, that much attention. Um, well, that's a very strange range size. Uh, raise size. What's he playing at? God, I'm tempted to call. What an idiot. Obviously, got aces, I suppose. Well, maybe, maybe he's. I was tempted to call them with a king eight. Maybe it works for him. I 
I just raised, uh, I just raise um, 3x from every position. Pair of tens here, we will be raising this. And we will be calling a 3-bet. Um, my 3-bet calling hands uh, consist of tens, jacks, queens. Sometimes I 4-bet queens. Okay, so we've been raised here. This is not good. He could have called with... He could have a set here. He could have a set here. So we're going to have to call here because we're getting the odds to call. What have you got? Have you got an over? Have you got jacks? What did you call with? You can tell a lot by their bet sizes. Oh, I really don't like this. This smells fishy to me. I think I've been raised. Did he have? Oh, he had Ace King. Wow, that's quite bold. We don't mind that the big blinds come along because if we do hit a nice flop, um, we're both quite deep. Uh, he's gonna have. Um, Ace King in his range. He's also going to have some me medium pocket pairs. King Queen, I have you've seen me three bet it, but this is an um, under the gun right open. So you expect it to be quite a good hand. So that's not a good time to three bet someone when they open from the first two positions. The the lot excluding the first two positions. Um, it's quite feasible to um, three bet someone. Now I've got queen seven here, so I'm going to use this as an example. He's opened. He's probably just trying to steal the blinds. Okay, so he's got a decision to make here. Hmm. It pays to be aggressive in poker. Pays to be aggressive. We're going to call because we're going to be in a position. And we're going to have one stab at this, I think. Looks very valuey, doesn't it? That bet, or does it look like a, a small pocket bear? We've got no choice but to fold anyway. Shouldn't have called. We would have taken that pot down had it not been for the big blind calling. He had a pocket pair. He wasn't going to fold. I thought about raising him, but he wasn't going to fold. 
So we've got a baby pocket pair here, and I do not like calling these. I much prefer 3-bet in these now, especially out of the um, small and big blind. Well, this smashes my 3-bet in range, that's for sure. That's what I thought, bitch. <laughs> so if, you, if you've got Poker Tracker, if you do take poker seriously and you've got a laptop and everything else, and you look at how much each hand is making you, by treating these pocket pet just like I did then, by, tr by playing them more aggressively, you find that you earn more money from them. nine suited we've got a small stack in the big blind so i will be well i'll be calling it now because someone's limped in oh i love my limpers you can always tell they're a bad player when they limp all right well we've got a flush draw now Yeah, so I'm making this poker series to um, document my rise up, back up to um, the high, the low, medium stakes. And it'd be awesome if you guys came along and followed my journey just to see how I got on. As I say, I've only just deposited money yesterday. And it was only ten dollars, so I'm turning the ten dollars into a bank run. We definitely don't want to get raised here. poker but I mean, no one seems in a particular rush if you do like the video please subscribe and want to see future videos like this please subscribe so I know and also leave any comments or questions that you've got for me as well in the comment section that would be great Maybe you're sort of doing a bankroll challenge as well. First of all, I'll be playing Rush. Um, as soon as I get my laptop, I'll be playing regular tables. And I'll also be playing sit and goes because I do very well in those as well. I enjoy the sitting goes as well. They're very, they're sort of exciting. So as you can see, poker, you've got to if to play poker, you've got to love doing it. 
because yes you can make money out of it yes if you get good at it you can make a hell of a lot of money at it but it also requires a lot of patience because a lot of the time it is boring because you're just folding hand after hand you've got your set range of hands that you play from different positions and as soon as um, you're dealt a hand and it doesn't meet that criteria you're, you're folding it. That's why I like playing Rush, and that's why I decided to do the um, the video with Rush, because it's a bit more exciting, because you can just see me play the hands that I want um, in quite a short time. Hopefully we get some action soon. We're getting some tough spots. To grind my bankroll up, I'm set mining. Any any pocket pairs, I'm looking to um, hit a set of three um, and stack some aces, kings, queens. Yeah, he's raised us. That's a bit bizarre. He raised us. But if it was a, he would have called for a king. Has he got a set of nines or fives? It's a, it's a big raise as well. Flush draw. You want to flush draw, mate? No, no, he's just trying to get a bit cute. When when you are playing poker and you are you get into a situation like that. It's very possible that the player's just getting cute. So um call his bet and then see what and see what how he bets the turn. This is the same player I'm against here. He's scared at betting. Play scared poker, that guy. He only puts his money in the middle when he's got the nuts. Oh, that's such a small raise. Oh. Min raise. Crazy. He's been raised. Yeah, he's got the ace. Yeah, so I'm building my bankroll up so that I can. So poker is going to be my main source of income, like it was before. Um, I, c I was quite comfortably living off of it. Four hundred pounds a week I was making. We 
show the first two positions respect when they raise. Like with this, for example, I've just raised and I've got a pair of pocket tens. One of them's going to have the ace. You can bet your bottom dollar. Yeah, that guy there is cool with an ace. Some sessions, you, some sessions are slow like this, and it takes it takes quite a while to um, to build your stack up. That's why I play four tables when on my phone normally, and I make sort of about four or five dollars an hour. It's not it's not too bad from a phone. <laughs> Um, I think it's pretty good. I've got no HUD here that I'm using. Um, I'm playing against an unknown player every single hand. Jacks or queens that shove would have been, or possibly ace king. Ace king slightly less un less likely because I had an ace in my hand. So that was a that was a medium pocket pair. What the more you play poker, the more you get a. Um, uh, I don't know really how to explain it, but you just you you sense what the other player has, and you you become very good at it. Well, she's led into me. I uh, this is a position. This is a this is one of those. Um, spots in poker that you regularly find yourself in and so you've got an overpair to the board and you've been called on the flop and now you've been led into now if she had a set wouldn't you have thought she'd have just kept on calling my bets I don't know mm. yeah there's a full house out there now Full house, or have you just got an over pair? I think she's just got an over pair. Yeah, <laughs> she just had an over pair. She was trying to get cute. But she still could have had my um, pair of tens beat. Definitely wouldn't get away with what I just did at the higher stakes. But you've got to treat each stake for hat for for how it is. We're going to call here because he's a shorty. Um, he's a bad player, and if we do hit queen, then yeah, we're just going to stack him here. Oh, fuck it, yeah, let's just stack him. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's no point me bringing my um, 50NL game to Zoom Poker because it just wouldn't work. Because you can't bluff, you can't bluff people really on Zoom. You've seen some good examples of me bluffing people, but that's because I'm quite good at reading hands and knowing what people have. And so I can put the pressure on them and get them to fold. But they've got to be good enough to fold in the first place. There's no point trying to get a bad player to fold because they'll call. They only look at what they've got in their own hand. They don't. They don't look at the board. They just think, oh well, I've got top pair. Oh, I'll call all the way down. They don't realise. So you've got to. You can only bluff good players. It sounds crazy, but it's true. a slow session I am going to be three bet in this against a button or a cut off open yeah I'm going to be three bet in this guy I'm going to go for the squeeze here lovely hand to do it with Mm, he's got the ace, he's got his beat. King 10, so he had two pair. I still like our play there. Could have got more value by shoving, but I did wasn't to know. I was I I just thought he had a an ace ace 10 uh, some kind of sort of medium ace and wouldn't call a shove Beeping's annoying. <laughs> Tell me how you make your money playing poker in the comments, guys. Also, let me know if, if I've been of any help with this video. Um, feel free to um, email me any questions you've got. Um, my email address is all lowercase Matt Baxter 195 at gmail.com so it's nice and easy to remember if you do email me and um, I will let you know I will I will um, send you my starting hands chart so you know which hands to play from which which position um, it will be a great help to you. What did he have there then? Oh, he had a pair of queens.
You're just trying to steal it. You're just trying to re-steal, bruv. You're just trying to re-steal. Hmm. I'm not trying to re-steal. You got a hand. Hmm. A couple of losses on that, I suppose. We are getting reasonably good pot odds, but... We can always just wait for a better spot. Nothing we could do there. Yeah, there's nothing we could do there. Just cool. Allow him to bet. Oh, let's raid him small. I'm going to isolate this guy because he's a, he's a bad player. He's a fun player. Not a bad player, a fun player. Mm. And of course these guys want in on him as well. Great. make it so obvious that they've not got a club, don't they? They make it so obvious. Well, I think I'm going to cut the first video short there, guys. I don't want it to be too long and boring for you. I just wanted to give you an introduction. And um, I will be making future poker videos, um, of course, if you guys want me to. So please, please subscribe. Um, please like the video if you do like it. Um, and leave any comment comments, negative or bad. You know, I'm, I've only been making YouTube videos for about three weeks, so I need all the help I can get. wait for the hands to run out and I'll stop the vid. I'll say goodbye then guys and I'll see you on the next vid.